Hello everyone, I'm Shamant Goda, CSAT faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome you to the question of the day series. This question was asked in the last video and the explanation I'm going to give you in this video. This was the bouncer homework. Many of you have given the correct answer. That's appreciated. In a class among the past students, A got 22nd ranked from the top. This is a list of past candidates. Okay. A got 22nd rank from the top. A is 22nd. I am writing the direction. Okay, indicators are very important in ranking from the top 22nd. And B who is 5 ranks below A. 5 ranks below A means B has to be 27th from the top. And he got 34th rank from the bottom. Okay, 5 ranks below A and he has got 34th rank from the bottom. So, his position from the bottom is 34th. 34th. If the ratio between past and failed candidates is 3 is to 1, then find the total number of students in that class. This is the past candidates. Okay, Look here now. If you know that from here to here, including B, there are 27 people. Agree? 27 people. When you are counting from the last, okay, when you are counting from the last, the position of B is 34th. Means before B, how many people are there? 33. Okay. If B's position is 34th from the last, before B, there are 33 people, right? Now, I got to know that after B, there are 33 people. From here to here, from starting till B, there are 27 people. And after 27, there are again 33 people. Means totally, the number of Students who are in the past list is 27 plus 33 is nothing but 60. So, the past number of candidates is 60. And the ratio of pass is to fail is nothing but what? 3 is to 1. If 60 is equal to 3 parts, then 1 part is equal to 20. These are the failed candidates. Past candidates, failed candidates. What are the total number of candidates in the class? 60 and 20, which is 18 number. And guys, this is the question of the day. This is the profit and loss topic. But I will explain you technique of solving this question, which is called allegation. Using allegation, many questions can be solved, which are in a mixtures. Okay? This question also can be solved using allegation in a very simple manner. Look here now. A trader has 60 kgs of rice. A part of which, okay, some part, part of which he sells at 8% profit and the remaining rest at 18% profit. But overall gain he makes is 14%. Now, allegation is a technique of solving this question. Find the quantity sold at 8% profit. To apply this, we require minimum of two data and a resultant of those two data. Means, I am making one way 8% profit, okay. A part is sold at 8% profit, one part. Remaining part, I am selling it at 18% profit. Okay, keep in mind, if you are selling one part at 8%, another part at 18%, the net profit has to be between these two only. Okay, it can't be more than 18, it can't be less than 8. Okay, this keep in mind. It has to be between these two only. According to the question, this is given as what? 14%. Okay, between means not exactly middle. Between, somewhere in between these two. Okay. Now, you write in this way, you need 3 data to apply the allegation, one 8 percent, another 18 percent and the resultant of these two is 14 percent. After writing this one, take the difference of these two. Okay. 18 and 14 difference is 4. Similarly, difference of 8 and 14 is 6. Means, he is selling them in the ratio 4 and 6 which is nothing but 2 is to 3. Okay. Agree? You write 8 percent, 18 percent and in the middle 14 percent. If you take the difference of these two, 4. Difference of these two is 6. Okay, if you take the ratio of 4 and 6, that is 2 is to 3. Means, 2 parts of the total quantity he is selling it at 8 percent profit and 3 parts of the quantity he is selling it at 18 percent profit. So, means 2 parts, 3 parts, totally 5 parts. If I say the given quantity 60 kg into 5 parts, if I divide 60 kgs into 5 parts, one part value will become 12 kgs. If one part is 12 kg, two parts which is sold at 8 percent profit is nothing but 24 kgs and this three parts is nothing but remaining 36 kgs. So, find the quantity sold at 8 percent profit is nothing but 24 kgs. 
option A. Very similar question I'm asking, but a little bit change is there. Try to understand this question and post the answer in the comment section, guys. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video with some unique question and also technique of solving that question.